Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Did all my Black Friday shopping all weekend. Unfortunately, I didn't get too many things because we didn't have enough money. But that's okay. Because unfortunately, I spent more on that one big surprise. And I'm going to mention it uh, just afterwards. However, I did got four Blu-rays and one DVD along with two books. And it's right here inside this bag. I got the Peanuts Emmy Honor Collection. Yep. Has all the episodes on disc one and two. Most of which I already have on DVD. The only ones I don't have are What Have We Learned, Charlie Brown, and Why Charlie Brown, Why. So that was the main reason to get this. I mean, it's a good set, but it's kind of a disappointment. Because they could have done a little bit better than this. They could have added some other stuff that's not on DVD. Such as, uh, You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. And maybe a few of the other stuff that's not there. So then I think this would have been the perfect to the set. I mean granted because they only had the second disc that has five specials while well, the first disc only gets six so that's a shame but oh well yeah, you can even see the 50 years of Charlie Brown Christmas yeah in fact I got a sweater it's on the other bag so I'll, I'll try to see if I can show you that but moving on I got the Lego movie the special special edition from Target. Yep, this is a Target exclusive, and this was definitely worth getting because it's a two this uh, Blu-ray set that also includes a DVD with digital copy. Yeah, and I really love um, this movie, the Lego Movie. In fact, I put this on my top 25 list of the best films of 2014. So it was perfect. I got the movie Dread at Best Buy for $9.99. It was a good deal. It was definitely worth it because I didn't have this movie. Plus, I thought this was the best uh, Dread adaptation that we ever had. Yeah, in fact, um, in my opinion, I think it's way better than the 1995 version. But don't get me wrong because. I actually did like the Stallone version. That's a um, sort of a guilty pleasure. But this one is just way better. It does focus a lot. It even stays true to, to the, um, the comics. So it works. Yeah. And by the way, the um, special edition of Lego Movie is $6. So not bad for Target. I also got the movie The Duff. At Target, also for six dollars. Yeah, and I thought this was actually very good. Um, for a uh, a Mean Girls for this generation, because it has Mae Whitman in it, and I always loved Mae Whitman ever since she was in uh, some movies like uh, Independence Day. And I know she does voice acting. You know, she went on to do the voice of Tinkerbell, as well as Katana and Avatar, The Last Airbender, and she even does some voice acting in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, the new one from Nickelodeon. So, well, why not? It even has Bella Thorne from the Disney Channel and Ken Jeong. So yeah, <laughs> not bad. It has some great special features here. Yeah. And I got Evil Dead 2, finally. <laughs> I had a hard time looking for this uh, Blu-ray, because they had this for 450 at Target. Um, I did actually found this um, last time at Target, but it cost a little more, so I didn't have a chance to get this. But now I did, so thank God, because I, I always loved the sequel along with the first movie and the third film, Army of Darkness. So, 
So all I need now is Army of Darkness, and the whole Evil Dead is complete. Um, and no, I'm not going to bother with the remake from 2013, because that one just didn't do it for me. However, I've yet to check out the TV series of Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars, but since I don't have Stars right now, um, maybe when they have a free preview or something, I'll I'll take a look at it. And of course, best thing of all, the Peanuts movie movie novelization. <laughs> yeah, the perfect book to own for Peanuts fan lovers out there. Yeah, it just has um, all the pages. <laughs> Even has uh, pictures included. Yep, here's the pictures. Yeah, some pictures. Okay, perfect. And I got this book. You got talent, Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good book. Has some pictures here. That's um, <laughs> just like the last book I have. But now here's the big surprise. Got a new Blu-ray player from Sony. Has all the features of tons of apps that you can watch on your TV screen. So now I get to go on YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, Crackle, Better Nation, and you name it. Tons of uh, channels the app. even has a PlayStation Now that you can select directly to your Blu-ray player so you get to play uh, PlayStation 3 games. Yeah, it's a BDP S3500 and it's right there. I just hooked it up to uh, this player. So let's see if we can do some testing on this. Here's the remote. even has a button where every time you go to Netflix you click on I'm going to turn it on right now. There you go. Here's all the options here. A lot of apps. And if we go to right here, you'll see uh, tons of channels. <laughs> wow, look at this. I thought you would see these. <laughs> yeah, there's even Facebook, too. I think you can also add some more apps, too, since it's not up here. Now let's go back to home. And let's go to YouTube. Okay, there we go. Click. Sorry, I'm just just taking some time to do so. Put some volume in it. I'm gonna go directly to my channel. Yeah, there's my <laughs> home page. <laughs> Now let's see if we can go to upload so I can check out my videos. Yep, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Let's see if I can get to like some other videos that I have already. Like, let's say we can go to uh, the Peanuts movie. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, you can see this handsome devil <laughs> on TV. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Oh, you just repeated myself. Okay, now let's just hit home. Yeah, 
awesome player and you can play Blu-rays and DVDs here too just by going to this option oh, that was a neat player now I'm going to turn this off for right now and yeah also uh, just so you're wondering what happened to my regular Blu-ray player well since I put this on top I decided to move my regular Blu-ray player into the closet. Yeah, it's a little dark in here. I'm trying to shed some light here. Let me see. So I just put the, the entire regular Blu-ray player that I have on this closet on top, so it's already wrapped up. Um, I'm going to save it as my backup, you know, so that way, you know, if something goes wrong with um, the new Blu-ray player that I have, I'll just use this. I'm just going to put it here for right now just to see what what's going on. But I'm keeping it because for one thing it has a better design plus a better remote too compared to the the new Blu-ray player that I have. Yeah, it doesn't have that many options on the remote itself that is because it's very small. So, yeah. We'll see. So yeah, I mean, it's a neat player. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I got this. It only costs $79.99, but I'm not the only one that had this. In fact, my sister has one for only $49.99. Yeah, she got that at Best Buy. I ended up getting this at Target, so yeah. So it's not too bad. It's small, but it's cool. Also, Here's the sweater with Snoopy and his doghouse filled with Christmas lights. Yeah, only 40 bucks though, but I think there was a good deal. So I think that was the original cost. I'm not so sure. Yeah, this is so neat. I'm going to wear this uh, for Christmas. And I hope I do, because <laughs> it's such a very neat. Uh, holiday sweater. I love it. Best Black Friday shopping that I ever spent. I mean, it's just too bad I didn't get that many movies that I was hoping for, but maybe, you know, later on Christmas, uh, yeah, I mean, like after Christmas or so, I'm, I'll probably get some more movies. Yeah, in fact, maybe they'll uh, give me some gifts for Christmas, so hey, who knows? But either way, I'm, I'm happy that I got something. Because I was afraid, you know, this Black Friday wasn't going to be any good. <laughs> Otherwise, who knows. But I did a good job. And anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.